Right, welcome to what will be the actually last video for the toy car, I promise. So um, let's start with just a blank, uh, untitled uh, tab up at the top. Let's go ahead and save this. So we should have an untitled tab and let's call this full assembly. And this time we're going to um, notice it says full assembly. This time we're going to drag our core car body into this. Okay. Now I didn't talk about the the little links in here. I, want, I do want to show you that. I'm going to click uh, OK. Now notice that it shows. Now we have an assembly, and inside of that assembly is another car body. Now what happens is that um, this link means that it's really just looking at the car body part. So, um, so this is like almost a magic window to look at that. So if I open the car body by double clicking on it, you know, and I make an alteration to this. So let's say I'm gonna do something weird like, I'll do a press pull and grab this. And for whatever reason, uh oh, why is it not wanting to pull that guy out of there? Uh oh, might have crashed my computer. Huh, being weird. Let's try that again. Press pull. I'll try a different surface this time. Let's try that one. Oh my gosh. Okay, press pulls being weird. I'm just going to hit extrude and do something like this. All right, and then I'll save that and watch what happens in the assembly with the car. Notice it has this little uh, warning symbol that says, oh, you need to update that. So if I update it, it's going to um, reflect what was done in the car. So I'm going to actually just delete that last thing um save it again this is just to show you how these things are connected and we'll update that all right cool you didn't need to do all that but just showing you how it works all right we're going to go ahead and insert in some things so we want to put those springs in there that are going to be our suspension so let's drag four of those springs in okay we'll one, two. Now notice that it will put it right on top of the other. So it's a good idea to kind of move them around a little bit as you bring them in. Three. I think I'll bring that, whoops, kind of up here so I can see it. And four. And this one I'll move up here and then over here. All right. Cool. Now, if you'll recall, you probably remember how to do this, but we're going to insert each one of those. I'll show you one of them and then you're going to do all four. So we're going to create a joint, make sure it's rigid, go back to position. We're going to choose the center of the disc and flip the car around. You're going to have to kind of zoom in and hit the center of the disc. Now, make sure that it's kind of down in there that you can see it. Otherwise, you'll have to flip. If it's up inside the car, Hit flip so it goes down into there. OK, and do that in all four places. Now, just in case you're thinking it would be cool to make those springs compress, so do I. But uh, that's a little beyond the scope of this class and quite honestly, a little bit above my ability level. So, um, yeah, they're just there to kind of show you what what would work, what would be cool. Um, but we're not actually going to make that happen. All right, now that we got the springs in, uh, let's go ahead and put bring in the wheel subassembly, which will come in as one part. Uh, one of the things that's going to have to happen, though, is we're going to adjust our offset in here. So we're going to have to change our current settings. So right now we're in inches uh, in our document settings. Come op expand that and change those to make our active units millimeters. Uh, 
that's what we're going to have to measure in. So we're going to go ahead and now drag in your wheel sub assembly and we're putting an assembly into an assembly. So we're going to bring in one of those. Let's just kind of move it somewhere where we can see it. Okay. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put that on there. Here's what needs to happen. Now pay close attention because we want the wheels to go the right way as if the car is going forward. So um, I think if you're looking at the car this way, you wanna do the backside from what we're looking at wheel, not the front. And I'll show you what I'm talking about in a second. So we're gonna put in a joint and we're gonna choose this ring right here either inside or outside, doesn't matter. Uh, oh, we need to make sure that it's a revolute, not a rigid. So before you click anything, if, hit escape if you have to and redo this. We want a revolute joint. Our position is going to be choosing that cylinder. Now we're gonna roll around. Now here's where it gets a little tricky and it might be different for you than it is for me. When we zoom into here, we're gonna zoom and choose the center point of that arc right there. And now you kind of have to look, there's a little flag in there, it might even be hard to see, um, that's showing what that revolute joint is going to do. It's the little flag that's the end of this guy, and it shows you what direction we're going. Well, let's just find out what happens. Click OK. Oh, I forgot we have to offset this. So right now it's showing us that we're right up against this, but we're, remember we had to come out a little bit. So we're gonna grab this arrow that shows that we're, and notice the offset Z is happening in a negative direction. So we wanna go negative 1.5, because if you remember, we added three inches, that's 1.5 on each side, okay. And that should work. Now let's click OK. Now, I'm not sure if that's going to spin the way I want it to spin or not. Let's find out. Um, so expand joints over here. Go to this Revolute. Right click on it and hit anim animate joint relationships. Now, I did choose the right one because it's going like it's going forward, right? Actually, I don't know how well my screencast is showing this but it's going the right direction. If it doesn't for you, you can hit escape to stop, then you might wanna try the opposite side of what you just tried, like delete that joint and try it again uh, until you get it right. And if it's going in reverse, big deal. Um, really, this is kind of visual anyway. All right, so now we're gonna do the same thing again. Um, we're gonna bring in another wheel sub-assembly, okay? And we're going to, again, do a revolute joint again. Oops, actually, okay, I'm not making the joint yet. Confused myself for a second. Joint, make sure it's a revolute. My position, I'm gonna try that again, where I go there and come around and go here. Okay, all right. Cool. And whoops, now look, you can see it's sticking out. Whoops, I forgot to offset it. I'll have to go back in and edit that joint. And whoops, I meant to go offset on the Z, negative 1.5. There we go. All right, cool. Now we're looking good. Let's animate that, see what happens. Yeah, that's going forward too. Now I'm going to show you one last thing that we're going to do with these so that you can animate one of the joints and they're both going to go together. We're going to create a motion link. So under a symbol, there's this thing called a motion link. And it says, what joints do you want to make a motion link with? I want that one and that one. Okay. And see how it connects them both together and click OK. And now when you go over and you animate the joint relationships, it'll move both of them at the same time. Kind of looks cool. I don't know how to make it so that those little things aren't, the little joint things aren't showing up. Even turning off the light bulbs doesn't seem to, or the uh, eyeballs, sorry, doesn't seem to work. Uh, so 
yeah, they still show up to show you what the joints are, but, but it looks pretty cool. All right. Congratulations, folks. You have finished everything with the toy car. Um, if it's getting late in the class period or you're behind, go ahead and turn this in. I am going to show you one more thing that um, is kind of an optional deal. And then we will be done with this. And this is just going to be some kind of visually cool things that we can do here. So um, up here in design, instead of uh, going in our design, we're going to go render. Okay. And you notice that render does some crazy things. It makes it look a little bit different because it's doing some different shadowing and things. Um, there's a lot of different things that you can do in here um, with uh, up applying different things and shadows and textures and craziness. Um, but the one thing that I'm going to ask you to do to do here is to look at your um, environment. Let me, I got to remember how to do this. Okay, I remember here. It's in the setup scene settings, and this will bring up this window. Um, I personally don't like the ground plane that's showing that shadow. You can turn that off. You can do all sorts of things with like, oh, how close am I? How far am I um, playing with this? Um, but one of the things that's in here is kind of cool is uh, like you could even get this robe with and choose one of these environment library. Go to the environment library and choose one of these dudes. I think you have to drag it over there. And uh oh, what am I doing wrong here? Oh, hold on. Oh, figured it out. So you got to go to settings. Uh, settings and we're going to use where is it? Uh, the background. Oh, instead of solid color, we're going to use an environment. There we go. And in the environment library, you can choose which thing you're going to do. Now, the hard part is you got to, um, if you hold the shift key down, just like you're rotating things in, uh, and, and it's going to look, it's going to be kind of weird because it's hard to make the, <laughs> the thing, but you can make this cool. There's, there's other things you can do about like, you could choose, uh, oh, crossroads. Look at that. Oh, sometimes you have to download them. Let's try that one. Let's try adding crossroads to it. Oh, there we go. So there we, we can put a street on there, tilt it a little bit. All right. So anyway, you can play around with that a little bit, get a, a kind of a cooler looking picture. Um, Again, you might want to find where the joints are showing up and stuff like that and play around with it a little bit, but it gives it a little bit, a little bit cooler thing to look at. Um, all right. So play with that as much as you have time to enjoy, um, play around, see how it goes and get a picture that's got more stuff going on if you have time to do that. All right, folks. Sure hope you have fun with the toy car project. This is the end of that thing. We're on to bigger and better things. Um, hope we learned, had fun with it at the same time, and um, we'll see you when we do some more stuff.